there is a wonderfully heartwarming story out of the Northwest Territories. Three Uluhaktok students are making history. They are the first from their community to be accepted to university, and they did it through distance learning. Two of those students, Jacob Klinkenberg and Matt Ganeuk, join me live from Uluhaktak via Skype. And it is a small community. It's about a thousand kilometers north of Yellowknife. So Jacob, I, I can see the smiles on both of your faces, but let me ask you, how did you find out you were accepted? I found out through an email um, that I was accepted into Marconi campus, which is in uh, Nova Scotia, Cape Breton. And who, uh, was, who was the first person? I was absolutely shocked you... and surprised that I was accepted. Who was the first person you told? I was sitting right beside my principal at, like, uh, I don't know, just after school, and he was the first person to know, other than me. Uh, you know what? It's wonderful news to share. Matt, tell me your story. When, when you found out, and then who did you tell? Uh, well, I first found out my uh, my principal told me, and when he told me, I just started kind of crying a little bit because I was really shocked too. And then I just ran home and told my mom, and yeah, it's kind of a big thing for us, so it's happy. You know what? Telling your mom must have been so wonderful for you, like passing on great news. What was her reaction on the other end of the phone? Um, I actually did it in person, and yeah, she got teary-eyed, and we were just really excited and happy, and yeah, it felt pretty amazing. Jacob, help me to understand how big a deal this is, how significant it is for you and for your community. Well, it's especially significant for me because I struggled through high school from grade 10, 11, and 12, and passing these grade dash one courses, it really amazed myself and my teachers, and it helps recognize the community for everyone. If you say you weren't a great student, what changed for you? You know, sometimes I think a light bulb went on and all of a sudden you, you thought, okay, this is what I wanna do. What was that moment for you? What changed? Uh, I realized that I wanted to join the RCMP, and to do that, I had to get my grade 12. And just this past year, I decided to go to college, and I was accepted. So the RCMP has been a lifelong goal for me, which I really wanted to work towards. School is the way to go. And Matt, what's your dream? Uh, just kind of to get out there and see the world, experience new things. Um, I just always found that appealing to myself. And what do you want to study when you go off to post-secondary? I was thinking psychology. Um, it's always been a subject that I thought was interesting, and I was good at it, so it makes sense for me. When you share the news with your community and you tell them not only about the acceptance, but the dreams you both have, what is the support that you feel there in Uluhaktok? Oh, first, I, I feel completely supported, especially going away from my home community for two years and then on top of that, another six months in the RCMP Academy. Um, I feel love it, loved, um, cared for, and supported. What about for you, Matt? It's just really overwhelming, but like my whole entire family and Everybody in the community is just saying how proud they are of us and me, and it's just, it's really nice, and it's been helping me a lot since I've been preparing for university. Hey, Jacob, you're going to Halifax, right? <laughs> uh, Cape Breton. Cape Marconi Breton. campus with uh, Nova Scotia Community College. Okay, so you're leaving a community of 400. You're going off to Cape Breton. It's going to be this incredible adventure. Uh, do you have butterflies? I'm wondering if you're a little bit nervous about it all. I'm a little bit nervous, especially the idea of college. Um, it's just tingly. <laughs> Tingly is a good word. You know, for mums, it's tingly too. Yeah. I'm wondering if your family is a little bit 
sad that you're going, but <laughs> but but really happy for you. Yeah, they're extremely proud of me. Matt, you are going off to, let me get it, Vancouver. So you're going from a community of 400 to a big, huge city. What's, have you done some research? What's in your belly? Um, actually, I'm going to Nanaimo, Vancouver Island University, but it's still really nerve wracking because I'm not really used to um, anything bigger than 400 people. So it's gonna be an experience, all right. You know what, Nanaimo is a beautiful part of the island. You will have so much to do there. Uh, and you can take the ferry over to Vancouver as well. What, what, you know, what do you, your mom and your parents, when you tell them that you are going to be halfway across the country or that far away from them, are they a little bit worried and nervous for you? Um, yeah, my mom is, but She's mostly proud and she's just really happy for me that I get to be doing this. And yeah, she's just cheering me on through it all and I really appreciate that. Final question for you both. What are you looking forward to most in this new adventure of uh, college, university? Jacob? Uh, I would have to say being more independent. That's one thing for sure. Um, financially as well. Yeah, parents really so, like that part. Yeah, that's going to be my number one answer. <laughs> How about for you, Matt? Um, like I said before, just, you know, going out, trying new things, seeing new things, and just living, like, the way I want to. I'm so excited for both of you. Um, I have three kids. Uh, two of them who have gone to university are back at home. So I guess, speaking from a parent's perspective, let your parents let your parents be free when you get home when you're through all of this. Thank you for your time. I wish you the best. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 